There are a lot going on in this video. Hi everyone, I'm Claudia from Tim Piki, a skincare app and a skin loving community. We are focused on providing you the science behind your skincare so that you can discover what's best for your skin. And on today's video, I will be reacting to some TikTok skincare hacks compilations that I found on YouTube. So we all already know that there are so much misinformations out there related to skincare and also skincare tips. So on today's video, we are going to watch it together and I'm gonna tell you guys whether if it's the right information or if it's just another wrong information, it will help prevent you from doing any damage to your skin. So make sure to stay tuned till the very end. And now without further ado, let's look into the skincare hacks on TikTok. By the way, credits to beauty babes who compile all the skincare hacks from TikTok. Watch this video if you've heard amazing things about both of these cleansers but still don't know which one to get. The first one we're going to talk about is the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. This cleanser is formulated with three essential ceramides and hyaluronic acid to moisturize and hydrate the skin. It's perfect for dry skin because it protects the skin's barrier and it does not strip away your skin. And it also doesn't foam up, which sometimes can be a little drying for dry skin. The next cleanser is the salicylic acid cleanser. Salicylic acid prevents acne by exfoliating the skin and getting rid of all the dead skin cells. This one is perfect for combination to oily skin types. And even though it's exfoliating, it's still really gentle enough to use on the skin often. Okay, that's a really nice actually skincare tips from at Jess Vlogs. Yes, we all know that CeraVe is like the all-time favorite brands, drugstore products that is very accessible, especially for our friends in the US. And yeah, I totally agreed with what she told us just now. The hydrating cleansers are perfect for normal to dry skin because it contains a non-stripping surfactants that can help remove dirt without stripping off our natural skin sebum. Meanwhile, the salicylic acid cleansers are meant to gently exfoliate our skin that are perfect for oily skin and acne prone skin. So yeah, if you're looking for an affordable as well as accessible products, please do check out the CeraVe facial cleansers. So yeah, right now, let's move on to the next TikTok hacks. Three ways I've been cleaning the pores on my nose. This thing, you pump and scrub. Little scrubbers, like three of them for five bucks on Amazon, makes it super easy to go around your nose. And this is a little pore scrubber. Wow, that's a lot of exfoliations going. So yeah, like what the video just now, she used three types of exfoliators or three steps of exfoliations. First one, she used the brush and it's some sort of a physical exfoliation. The second one, she used another type of silicone brush, another physical exfoliations. And the last one is like an exfoliation stick. I'm not pretty sure about the products. So I think it gives a chemical exfoliations. Maybe there are some exfoliating ingredients in the products that can help lift off another layer of dead skin cells, which is pretty... It's quite too much in my opinion. I don't think someone would require three steps of exfoliation, especially on their nose area. I know there are a lot of like white hats or black hats on your nose, but I don't think three step exfoliations will work for every skin type. Maybe if you have resilient skin, it will work for you. But if you have sensitive skin, I don't recommend you to do this type of three steps exfoliation because it can break your skin barrier. It can cause us more trouble than good. So yeah, please proceed with cautions and remember, healthy skin means healthy skin barrier. You don't want to break it by over exfoliating your skin. Looking for skincare that is clean, vegan, and doesn't hurt your bank account? Then I might just have the thing for you. Verst makes so many great products and none of them have all the bad stuff that you usually have to worry about in them. Now I'm going to show you some of my favorites. This is a clay purifying mask that I love because it takes out all of the, you know, skin gunk without drying out my skin. This is a brightening toner. I secretly like this extra because the pump top means I can't spill it and waste it. This stuff is great for post acne spots and evening your skin tone. This is a firming serum. This is made for aging skin, but eh, it's never too early to look after your face. You don't know you need this until you need it. Specifically for unwanted visitors. Okay, hope this helped, bye! Okay, there are a lot going on in this video. 
first she was talking about clean products which I won't talk too much in this video so yeah, I won't talk too much about that part. Let's just focus on her skincare routine. So from the order where she used her skincare products that are all correct. So she used from purifying mask and then she move on to maybe like a cleanser and then toner and then serum and another moisturizer. Am I correct? And the only issue I had is that she used the pipette and it touched her skin which is very unhygienic and I don't recommend for you guys to do it at home. But I know a lot of like that aesthetic skincare videos uses their pipettes and it touches their skin but I hope it's just for the sake of the video and you guys don't do it at home because it can bring the bacteria from your skin back to the bottle of your skincare products and you don't want to make your skincare products go bad earlier than it should right so yeah try to avoid any physical touch between your skin and the pipette of your skincare products and yes let's move on to our next hacks stop wearing makeup when you work out it'll only give you so much more acne and clog your pores get yourself a travel pack micellar water a cotton pad wipe off your face before you start working out it's easy you can work out barefaced or you can wear moisturizer after your workout cleanse your face then add your moisturizer or oil on top. I promise you, it's such a game changer. Honestly, the reward of having clear skin is so much better than wearing makeup for an hour and clogging your pores and sweating in it. Mm, go move that body. Okay, I totally agree with what she said actually. So if you guys use your makeup daily and you love to exercise or go to the gym, I always advise you guys to wash your face before you jump to your exercise because it will like lesser the chance for the makeup to kind of clog your pores and you just letting those sweat kind of sip in naturally without any blockage on the surface of your skin. And yeah, I think that's a really good, good tips. I highly suggest you guys to just embrace your bare face when you guys are exercising. Just let those natural sweats and sebum seep in naturally on the surface of your skin. Okay, so now let's move on to our next hacks. How to get rid of forehead acne. So what I do is I use this spin brush from Duvall. It has four different heads and I've been using the facial one and the body one. The bristles are super soft. You can use code BEAUTYBABES for 7% off. So this is how I use the body head. And I use a spin brush with the uh, Mix Easy Gentle Face Cleanser. Um, this is super dope because you can actually make your own formula. So here I am just squeezing some of that cleanser onto the spin brush and just spinning it on my face. You just go onto their website and just click on your skin type. Then you just add the ingredients you want in your facial cleanser and you can totally like play around with it. Then after that, you just choose the fragrance you want. I think that the honey and milk one personally is like the best. It smells so good. I just named mine the essence. You can use code BEAUTYBABES for 10% off. I've been using those products for two months now and my skin went from this to this. Definitely go check them out and remember to use my code. Okay, that's a really interesting videos. So I've got a lot of questions as well regarding physical or like facial brush on removing clogged pores or acne. Actually, it may help at certain point if you're someone who don't actually clean your face properly using your hands. So yeah, that types of cleansing brush can actually provide that more deep cleanse onto your skin and make sure that you give enough time for the cleansers to actually remove all the dirt and also the pile of excess sebum and all the unwanted stuff on the surface of our skin. But I don't think it is a necessity on everyone's skincare routine because it greatly depends from one skin to another. If you're someone who would like to recklessly wash your skin, maybe it can help. Uh, your congested pores and acne issues but if you've been washing your face very diligently and also very thoroughly i don't think it will particularly help uh, yeah i'm a little bit skeptical but regarding the product that she used in this video it's actually pretty interesting as well she can choose on the types of extract she wants on her cleanser and the types of fragrance that she wants it's pretty interesting i may look it up after this video so yeah let's move on to our next skincare hacks my five drugstore skincare favorites. This Nivea cream is an exact dupe for the creme de la mer. Garnier's micellar water is my favorite to take off my makeup. Versed overnight facial peel makes such a big difference in my skin. 
Cetaphil's Gentle Cleanser is the best for sensitive skin. This Pixie Beauty Glow Tonic helped get rid of my acne. Wow, that's a really great recommendation for our drugstore products. I haven't tried any of those products she mentioned actually, so I cannot talk too much about it. But yeah, there are a lot of people recommending skincare products that work for them, but we should remember that our skin is unique and there's no one size fits all in skincare. So if you're looking into someone's review, always take it with a grain of salt and don't think that you're going to get the 100% same results as those other people because your skin will react differently, you have different concern, different skin type, and we never know how our skin will actually tolerate that skincare product. So yes, always take it with a grain of salt and don't just copy anyone's skincare routine or skincare products recommendations. Now let's move on to our next hacks. If you have acne with white pus and want it gone overnight, this is my best kept secret. It's only $3 at Walmart and it will last you throughout the entire month. These are the Band-Aid Hydro Seal All-Purpose Dual Action Seal Hydrocolloid Gel Bandages. I think about five years ago I was searching online for alternatives for expensive acne patches and one day I came across a blog that said that these work perfectly. So I tried it out and it worked. It comes in 10 one size bandages that you can cut up into acne patches of your fitting. You can literally customize it to any acne size which I think is amazing and such a good steal. Apply it on dry skin overnight and see the magic happen in the morning. Wow. That's actually a very great tips from Shannon. Thank you, Shannon, for sharing with us all. Yes, actually that band-aid that Shannon showed us made of the same materials, which is the hydrocolloid that was used to create the hydrocolloid patches that we saw on the market for our pimple patches. So Shannon is just sharing with us an alternative, some more affordable alternatives where we can customize and actually also save our money when we want to use a pimple patches, but we don't want to break our bank by investing on a rounded, already cut out, pimple patches so yeah if you're on a budget please do check out these tips if you cannot afford an already pimple patches the rounded one please feel free to just follow this skincare hack because it will work just fine on your skin and will help you to absorb that excess debris and also sebum on your pores and yeah, actually that's all for today's tiktok skincare hacks compilation reaction video this is our first ever reaction video on piki's youtube channel let me know if you guys like this kind of video and don't forget to like and also subscribe to piki's youtube channel and yeah, lastly, if you want to follow or also download the Peaky apps, you can check out all the information on the description box. And once again, please subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you guys know whenever we upload another new videos. And yeah, lastly, of course, stay picky because your skin deserves it. And thank you guys so much for watching and hope to see you guys again next time. Bye, guys!